Suzuki Jimmy Review It's the Suzuki Jimmy, or Jimmy as every smartphone and laptop autocorrect feature insists on calling it. Good luck googling one of these if you decide you want one. Come 2021 it was reclassified as a commercial vehicle, or van, due to emissions regs, with the rear seats lobbed in the skip, but supply was limited, so you'll likely struggle to get your hands on a brand new one, while you'll have to pay a fair whack for those in the classifieds. More on that below. Still, what one tends to happen about three seconds after clapping eyes on the Jimny. Cuter than a Jeep Renegade and as sturdy looking as a Mercedes G-Class, but at six tenths the scale, it's one of those instantly desirable pieces of design, like a Fiat 500 or whatever Apple's attached a lowercase i to this week. Advertisement page continues below. Jimnys have extremely loyal buyers but for every one potentially warded off by the latest model-going fashion, we'd wager it's one five new fans via social media who'd never have had it on their radar before. The old Jimny lasted an astonishing 20 years on sale. In those two decades, three things boomed in popularity, SUVs, downsizing, and retro. So the new Jimny, complete with its 1.5-liter petrol engine and functionally honest design, looks like a masterstroke. Is it still proper underneath? Yup. The Jimny is still based around a traditional steel, ladder frame chassis, but it gained a new, stiffer foundation for the car's 2018 rebirth, supporting rigid front and rear axles with separate differentials, and a four-cylinder petrol engine with 100 brake horsepower and 95 pounds FT, not to mention 200 cubic centimeters more capacity than its predecessor. There is no turbo, no hybrid assistance, and no diesel. Suzuki never got round to confirming how quickly the 1.5-liter motor can haul all 1,135 kg, 1,090 kg sent rear seats of Jimny from 0 to 62 mph, but if it's under 12 seconds we'd be impressed. And by the brave shifting test driver a pint. That boxy physic will eventually stop bullying the air at 90 mph, but a far more relevance are claims of 36.7 miles per gallon and 173 g/km on the